Good morning, everyone. Ladies, gentlemen, um, it's Tuesday, it's Taco Tuesday, or Titty Tuesday, uh, depending on the holiday that you celebrate. And I am coming to you, uh, from once again, the glorious county of kings, uh, what some of these communist scum have dumbed, dubbed the People's Republic of Brooklyn. That's where I'm coming to you from today. And I'm asking, and I'm coming to you with a very, very simple request this morning. Please stop telling me to vote for Joe Biden. Stop. It's over. I am not going to vote for that man. I don't know how many times I've got to put this. I don't know how many times I've got to say this. I don't know how many times I'm going to make this. I have to make this as clear uh, as I can. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep making it clear. Uh because I, I don't mind talking about it. But I'm going to be very, very clear once again when I say, please stop asking me to vote for Joe Biden. And furthermore, stop asking me to do what so many other uh, Democrats have done so many black Democrats have done, which is to get me to ignore Biden's obvious cognition uh, decline. See, I'm going to be honest with you. Black folk have honestly, this entire election cycle, pissed me off. I'm saying this as a black man. I'm saying this as a black Democrat who has been with this party since 2009. I am tired of black people uh, falling for the banana in the tailpipe every single election cycle and then listening and then falling every single time when black folks start to finally figure it out that maybe this party doesn't have our best interests at heart and it's probably time to start asking if they ever did. I am tired of the say of, of, of black people, the operatives, they, the 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 ones who are still suffering from Trump derangement syndrome, the ones who are still masking in public outside or driving alone in their cars and it's four years later the same ones who will say COVID is not over are the ones who will who the, are the ones who will fall right over for Biden for Biden showing up at a church for Kamala Harris coming through with her you know, with her fake black girl magic. And then they'll and then and then we'll be reminded ad infinitum about how bad about how bad and how evil Donald Trump is and how Donald Trump is a threat to our democracy and all of this other shit. And that's what I'm going to call it. Shit. I have many reasons why I'm not going to vote for Biden. Very little of it has anything to do with black people, to be quite honest. 
I mean, the, the one thing that does have something to do with black people is the fact that the Biden administration, uh, through this wave of endless migration, endless immigration, okay? I don't think I need to remind you that Alejandro Mayorkas and Joe Biden actively plotted to keep the faucet of immigration on and running because they were because these two have been working to change the demographics in this country they are importing a new underclass whom th who they feel they can who they believe they can control with endless with 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 free food free housing free this free that and and every election cycle they'll come up and vote democrat in perpetuity That is the Democrat way right now. And I'm telling you, as a Democratic voter, I am tired of this party continuing to do this. Joe Biden, four years ago, told black people on Charlemagne the God's radio show that if, that if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. The governor of the state of New York, Kathy Hochul, said that black people don't even have the word computer in our vocabulary. Democrats did this. And then all of a sudden... We're supposed to just rock up to the polls because and, 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 and endure all this abuse. Your neighborhoods are being changed right under you. You have less job opportunities than ever before. Everything is more expensive. The Secretary of Transportation, Pete Buttigieg, who is a communist, by the way. This man told us all that if we didn't like high gas prices, that we should simply buy an electric vehicle. Our neighborhoods are, all, we're all, are already becoming more and more crime-ridden, more and more crowded with people who are not supposed to be here. And you have the audacity to ask me, you expect me to believe that Donald Trump is the real enemy here? You expect me to believe that the Republican Party, who have been incompetent as, a, as an opposition party in their own right, because they haven't been prepared for anything the Democratic Party have been doing uh, uh, over the last several, and even worse, they might even be on the take for some of this. You expect me to fall in line the republican party you have attributed you have attributed so much of this fake power fake power to the republican party and you've let your hatred of one man flow through you to the point where now you're saying when you look at biden Biden, and, and this is getting to the man himself, because I haven't gone into Title IX and Title VII being turned inside out so that white men can catapult themselves to the very top of the, oppre of the oppression Olympics. I haven't gone into that. I haven't gone into the fact that the Democratic Party 
kept lockdowns going. They fought to fire people. I'm sorry. They fought to economically purge employees, municipal and state employees for not taking the COVID shot that was allegedly safe and effective. We are letting, we're going to let the Democratic Party off the, off the hook. That's essentially what we're doing. That's what you want to do every time. You, and then you look at Biden, who's probably got Parkinson's. You know that Bo Joe Biden is not well. You know he's not well. You can look at him and tell he's not well. The man sees things when he walks on stage. The man is clearly unwell, and yet you continue to demand our undying loyalty to a political party that clearly views us as nothing more than vote cattle. But Trump is the but but Trump is the real demon here, right? Trump is the real face of fascism. As I love to hear as so many Democrats out here are are saying, I'm supposed to believe that I'm supposed to believe that Donald Trump is the face of fascism when this Democratic Party started a whole disinformation governance board to give some type of um to give some type of legitimacy to what they were already doing with the FBI and the Department of Homeland Security in censoring and getting it censoring people on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and everything else. The federal government, the bureaucracies had been working to destroy our free speech this whole entire time. And we're doing it with the full blessing of the Democratic Party. The government working with corporations to oppress the people, which is the true definition of fascism. And yet I'm supposed to believe that Donald Trump is the threat to democracy. I'm supposed to believe that. How dare you insult my intelligence this way? How dare you insult my intelligence? How dare you insult me as an American citizen? The idea that I am that I somehow because by 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 virtue of my black skin that I am somehow supposed to get in line and rock up to the polls and vote Democrat simply because of, my, of this melanin. It is getting ridiculous at this point. Democratic Party ain't for us anymore. Liberalism ain't liberal anymore. We have been lied to and, and insult and had our intelligence insulted repeated routinely. And yet we're supposed to be, we are supposed to be the keepers, the, 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 the they, they say this all the time about black women being the backbone of our democracy. No, you're using black women as the mules to pull your plow, white, lib, white leftists. That's what you're doing. And in typical fashion, you expect us all to be, to just be okay with it. Because like you said, 
y'all have been able to do this for years. Y'all have literally been able to go Republicans evil, orange man bad, Trump is racist, Trump is white supremacist, Trump is a threat to democracy, Trump is a threat to our democracy. Well, we really mean our hegemony. We we really mean like our total dominance over over every instant over the entire uh liberal apparatus in this country. But you know, orange man bad. That's all you literally have to say. As, as you tear our institutions apart, as you reduce our rights and freedoms to ash, Constitution means nothing to these people. They get us bugged out all the time over racism, racism, racism. These motherfuckers are just like, are just like a, 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 a Jan Brady. You know, remember that? Jan Brady was like, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. How come it's always about Marsha? And all they got to do is just say, racism, racism, racism. You're doing a racism. That's problematic. We need anti-racism in everything because the only the only answer to discrimination is reverse discrimination. That's what that that that's what that that's what that handsome nigger with all the dreadlocks said. What was his name? Uh, Henry Kendi or something like that. Like, oh my god, like he's amazing. You damned hypocrites. You damned hypocrites. How dare you ask me to vote for, Don, for, for, for Joe Biden? That man is not well. Regardless of that, listen. And I said, that, I'm going to say this and then I'm done. Regardless of Afghanistan, regardless of the Afghanistan withdrawal. Okay. Regardless of his turning Title VII and Title IX against women. Regardless of his obsession with his and the Democratic Party's ob wider obsession with pride and everything uh, LGBTQIAP+. Regardless of this, regardless of his obsession with electric vehicles this man is a globalist joe biden and the people around him are globalists please do not get this please do not act like this is brand new these are evil evil people trying to instill global communism in this country but on but but beyond all of that the man is clearly not well Joe Biden should have been 25th Amendmented a long time ago, and they won't do it. Why? Because now it's no longer about Joe Biden. They can do... Listen. Hegel said in the 19th century that history uses people and then discards them. We're talking about a political party who will Diane Fein a dying Diane Feinstein didn't know where she was, didn't know what she was doing, wheeled her invalid wheeled her out for a Senate vote. Took her back to wherever she came from and she died several hours later. Her dying, her la her final act on this plane of existence was doing something to further Democratic Party power. Her last act was that was was one of service to the party, and she died several hours later. And I'm listening to these same people. Open, who 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 said not just la who who said last week that they were going to vote for a fucking table leg they were going to vote for an inanimate object 
before they voted, before they let, so that Donald Trump was not going, so that Donald Trump would not get elected. And now what they're doing, that was like the, that was like the psychotic break. So now the communistic response is, well, we're not voting for Joe Biden. We're voting for the party. We're voting for the Democratic Party. We're voting for the party who has our be who has our quote unquote best interests at heart. And we're supposed to take that and be okay with that. I'm voting for the political party. I am voting for congratulations, you are now a communist and you don't even realize it. I'm voting for the party. So you're no longer voting for the individual who is in charge, who, who, who we choose every four years to be the executive branch, to be the head of the executive branch as laid out by the Constitution. You are just openly admitting, I am, I'm voting for the communist. I, I want to vote for the party. I want to vote for the political party. Congratulations. You, are, you have now become status and you don't realize it. Stop asking me to vote for Joe Biden. Stop asking me to vote for that man. Who am I going to vote for? None of your fucking business. But I'm going to need y'all to I'm going to need y'all to chill. I'm going to need y'all to stop asking me to vote for that man. It's not happening. It's not happening. Thank you for listening if you've made it this far. I look forward to speaking with you again soon.